Okay, this is the uh, engine compartment, the engine bay of our only blue one that we have, uh, Yanko Style Nova. A really, really neat car. This thing is a 383 stroker, making some serious horsepower. Um, heavy duty radiator in it, it's at least a four pass uh, heavy duty radiator. New alternator, new water pump. The engine itself has like very, very low miles on it. You can tell by the condition of the paint on the sides of the motor. Uh, it has aluminum heads on it, uh, Elbrock heads, uh, Elbrock aluminum intake manifold, a Hawley vacuum secondary carburetor. It does have a set of tall aluminum valve pan covers on it, I'm sure for the roller rockers that are on it. Uh, a set of long tube ceramic coated headers. I'm going to call them inch and Inch and five eighths, inch and three quarters. We'll go with inch and three quarters. They're a pretty nice set of uh, headers. New water pump, new battery. It has um, power disc brakes on it. And you can see a new uh, vacuum booster, new master cylinder dual stage, new proportioning valve also. Does not have power steering, nor does it need it. It has little narrower tires in the front. Gives it that dragger look, you know, drag race look. Um, very easy to steer. I drove this car for about three, four days. Fantastic running car. Does have an MSD complete ignition system on it. High silicone plug wires, MSD coil, MSD ignition box in it. Everything is done to the nth degree on this vehicle. Oh, new wiper motor also. Uh, correct tile washer bottle with it. Correct hoses, top and bottom. Um, it has. Believe it or not, it has a serpentine drive belt system in the front of it, a really great addition. Uh, flex fan also, correct shroud that belongs with the vehicle. Uh, the inner panels are uh, semi-flat black, just the way they should be. Uh, cowl tag, nice and legible, just the way it was in 1970-something when this car was produced. It, um, it's a really clean engine compartment. There's no leaks evident whatsoever from the valve pan covers or the front of the engine, the timing chain cover. And again, you know, this engine you can see has very, very little usage on it, very low um, run time on it. Uh, I can tell you that it definitely produces some very serious horsepower. Um, it's a positive traction rear end in this thing, and you can ignite these tires anytime you want with it. The heater is still hooked up and still functional into the passenger compartment. Uh, frame rails that you can see, the uh, K-member and everything in the front, your engine cradle. Uh, everything is just as nice and clean and fresh as could be. Uh, new bushings on the uh, uh, A-arm uh, front suspension that's on it. Conventional, it's not aftermarket. Uh, new fuel pump. There isn't anything in this engine compartment that has not been addressed. It's a fantastic running engine. Uh, 383 strokers make incredible horsepower, usually anywhere from um, uh, depending on the header and intake uh, configuration, but anywhere from 430 to 450 is what they generally produce. It's a very strong running engine, very clean engine compartment, and we're going to show you the rest of the car now. Okay, you're in Hangsters in Daytona Beach, Florida, and I had a lot of fun with this guy, let me tell you. Uh, it's a really, really neat Nova. It's a 383 stroker car, incredible condition, incredible driving vehicle, and I just loved it. I hated to bring it back. So we're going to go over it. Um, obviously it's blue, it's kind of a marina blue color, I don't know if it's a Chevy color or not, but a gorgeous paint job on it, and we Yankoized it. We put a set of Yanko uh, stripes on it to make it look like a Yanko uh, Nova, and I did put a right-hand mirror on it. I can't drive a car without a right-hand mirror, so we just put that one on. The fender fitment to the uh, hood is just as sweet as could be, you can see clean up to the cowl area. Uh, this seam is just as nice as could possibly be, about an eighth of an inch the whole way around it. Uh, striping we just installed, it's semi-flat black, it really gives it a nice texture, a nice look. Uh, there's no marks or dents or anything in the hood that, that I, I can uh, uh, pick out. Gap on this side the same way, you can see eighth of an inch the whole way up to the cowl area, the, the, the cowl pan. Um, fitment of the trim on the front, look at that. How much nicer can it get than that? especially on the Nova. Aluminum grill in this guy. Really looks good. The anodization on the grill is nice and clean, just the way it should be. Filler panel the same way. It's really in good condition. Usually these are silver. This guy's painted blue to match the finish of the car. 
uh, adds a nice little bit of a character to it. It really looks good. Um, the insets, which are usually this black paint is chipped out, uh, these are just as nice as can be, and there's no patina whatsoever on this chrome trim, absolutely none. Headlight basil is the same way, really great condition. Let's check this side. Yeah, same thing on this side. This is just as new as you could ever hope to find one. Let's see about our bumper here. Now that guy's right on the money. It is just as nice and sweet a fitment as you could find. Uh, both horizontally and laterally. It cannot be adjusted any better than it is now. Amber parking lights in the front of it. There's no dents or dings whatsoever in the chrome bumper. Uh, again, you can see the fitment of the front end of this car is just as sweet as you'd ever hope to find. Just a fun car. I really hated to give this thing back. Uh, but we had to clean it up and bring it in a video. And I, uh, I use them a lot of times when they're, you know, pre done. In other words, we don't have them cleaned up and buffed and washed and cleaned up and ready for a video uh, just to see if there are any uh, mechanical issues with it. This has none. Uh, fantastic looking car. A uh, really good uh, good running car. Um, let's go down the side see if we can show you something there. Okay, driver's side. Um, side marker lamp in the front. No patina whatsoever. Absolutely none. Uh, wheel lip in the front, really, really nice, no chips, no marks on it. Again, our Yanko striping, just as nice as you'd ever hope to find. I love the stripes on these cars. really brings these cars to life. The Yanko designation also, where the door <coughs> and the fender come together and the rocker panel, you can see the fitment is just as smooth and straight as can be across here. Um, wiper arms and blades, correct style, argent type, just the way they should have been. Trim around, the stainless trim around the windshield. Same way, no dinghies, no marks, no chips, no nothing on it. Sunshade fade on the uh, windshield and a tinted windshield too. Um, appears to be a new window in this car. There's no marks, uh, no scuffs whatsoever on it, absolutely none. Uh, VIN number nice and legible in the metal part of the dash, which transitions to the base of the windshield just as nice and clean and clear as could possibly be. Um, dash pad. No uh, deviations, no marks, no warps, and definitely no cracks. Just as nice a pan as you'd ever want to find. Just as really, really nice. Uh, the roof has no marks, nothing's fallen through uh, the ceiling or anything uh, and through the years to uh, disrupt the roof on this car. It's just as flat and smooth and, and uh, flawless as you could ever hope to find a, uh, a roof on a car. No drip rail molding on this particular guy. It's a basic looking car. It does not have the anodized aluminum trim around the, uh, the windows like a lot of them do. They have anodized aluminum here and uh, drip rail also. This gives the car, I don't know, a little bit uh, a plainer look, which gives it a little racier look than having a little bit of chrome there. But it, it, if someone decided they wanted to, they could add the chrome stainless drip rail molding anodized aluminum trim around the windows and also uh, rocker panel moldings if you wanted and dress this thing up. Oh, wheel lift moldings too. You could put wheel lift moldings on it too. So you could really accentuate this with a lot of uh, chrome trim if you like it. I just don't like chrome. I like it just the way it is right now. A chrome on the door handle is just as sweet as you'd ever hope to find. There's no patina whatsoever on it. There's a little chip right here. I don't know what the heck it is. It's a chip of paint, a mark, right above the keyhole. Um, obviously, it's nothing that we're going to address. We might just brush touch that little mark there, and that's it. Wipes whiskers, absolutely new. And where they transition on to the uh, panels of the vehicle, they're just as sweet and nice as you'd ever hope to find. Really, really nice stainless steel molding goes right up onto them. It has uh, mirrors on both sides, I know, because I just put that one on to match this one. Uh, door itself, and fitment to the uh, rocker panel and the quarter panel, absolute perfect. It does not fit any better than this. Look at this. The whole way down and onto the rocker panel, just as nice as you'd ever hope to find one. Quarter panel, look at this. And I was under this car, so I know what it looks like, and you're going to see it shortly, too. All tin. This car has absolutely no uh, issues where it had been repaired or anything through the years, not that we could detect. Uh, it has a set of um, 
weld wheels on it. Um, narrow ones in the front, they're going to be a four or five inch rim. These are probably about seven or eight in the back. It's about as big a meat as you could put under a Nova without uh, interference problems. But a nice set of polished weld wheels on this vehicle. Uh, it was a preference of a lot of drag racers through the years. Their lightweight and strong uh, uh, structure is uh, uh, a motivating factor for people putting these on. Nice looking car. Side marker light in the back. Again, no patina whatsoever, absolutely none. The Anko Super Chevy designation. And that's the whole driver's side. There's not a deviation. Uh, the fitment is just as laser straight as you'd ever want to find. Uh, didn't come across a stone chip or a mark other than that one right by the uh, uh, keyhole there. But the main part of the, uh, the doors, the quarter panels, and the front fender, and the hood, uh, there were no marks, no chips. Let's go out back and see if there's something there. Okay, rear section of our Yanko style Nova. Again, look at the fitment. Nice gap on this side, eighth inch, all the way across the bottom. Same thing on this side. Nice fitment the whole way across it. Uh, paint on the back of this deck is just as nice as it was on the rest of the car. Uh, there is a, well, whatever it is, it looks like it's coming off. Um, we have not, you know, cleaned this car really and buffed it and glazed it and everything like it, like we do for pre-delivery. Uh, it's just cleaned up where we're going to do the video on it. Uh, we'll show you everything that we see that's wrong on the car, but we try to go over it in a, in a comprehensive way so that we know what we have to fix too. Not too many mechanical things on this one, I can tell you. The uh, hat rack in the back, sh rear shelf, whatever you want to designate it, is just as it was when it was new. The uh, trim around the uh, rear window, um, just as nice as you'd ever hope to find. There are no marks or dents. Uh, usually you'll see a little hammer mark or something from someone um, during installation getting a little overzealous. That's not the case here. This, this one is as flawless a fitment as you could hope to find. Yanko designation in the back again. The trim around the um, tail lights is just absolutely gorgeous. Usually these things are uh, corroded up a little bit. This has absolutely no patina whatsoever. The uh, lenses is nice and clean and clear, just the way they would be. Bumper fitment. I'm not going to get any better than that. That's, that's as good as it gets. That's a nice fitment on it. You can see the same as the front, laterally and uh, horizontally, just as straight as you'd ever hope to find. There's no dents or dinghies whatsoever in it. Also, no brush marks from some moron putting his uh, um, feet up on it through the years. Uh, really a great rear section on this car. The fitment is gorgeous. The, the paint is very, very nice on the car. A bumper fitment could not possibly be any better than it is in the front or the rear here. We have one more side to do for you yet. Okay, passenger side, last side. And again, Yanko SC, Super Chevy. Uh, like no patina whatsoever. Nice fitment here too. You can't get a fingernail underneath it. It's just as nice and clean as you'd ever hope to find. Again, tin. Tin everywhere on the car. I don't see any marks. I'm trying to feel for any kind of deviations, anything that I can pick up on this vehicle. Same thing on this side, you know, the uh, drip rail is just, everything's painted here as opposed to having a, a bright metal work on it. it. It's not a negative, it's just the, the look of the car, it's just the theme of the vehicle, simplicity, which really looks good. Again, look at this, look, and down to the uh, rocker panel. It cannot fit any better than it does there. Chrome and the door handle the same way, white whiskers, just as nice and new and fresh as you'd ever hope to find mirror that I just put on so I could see where I was backing up, what was behind me, because with this thing, everything's behind you. Trim around the front window, same way as it was on the other side, no marks, no hammer marks, nothing whatsoever. Again, look at the fitment, look at this. That is really, really good. Marker light up front, the same as it was for the other three. Absolute gorgeous fitment on it. 
make a designation on the front fender here, on the rear deck, and on that fender over there, you have three of them. Uh, fantastic car. Uh, you just watched me go over it, other than a couple little tiny, tiny little marks that uh, I pointed out. And the reason I run my hands over this car is if I don't see something, a lot of times there may be a dent or a little divot or something that I have to, I can feel it, and then I'll say, oh, there it is, there's a mark. And that's the reason that I do what I do with these vehicles. Um, it doesn't matter because before this car gets delivered, uh, it gets a, a, a glaze put on it and a buffer run over it. So at this point, it wouldn't matter what I did with the car because it's, it's going to have a, a buff and a glaze prior to being shipped. So at this point, it was just a wash job. It's just cleaned up and washed so that we could video it. And for our own internal reason, too, we can pick out any imperfections in the car that need to be addressed, like a brush touch over there or a mark in the back that we have to take a look at or a panel that may need adjusted or something, not the case here. Um, but it is a fantastic looking Nova. It's a great color combination. It does look like a real Yanko at this point in time. Got a beautiful set of polished weld wheels on it. But the rubber is all like new, all four corners. Uh, I just went over this vehicle. We encourage everybody to come down and take a look at them for yourself. And this thing, you would have a lot of fun driving this one. It'll lay tire as long as you want to let on it. it uh, it's a fantastic car. Uh, it, it drives well, riles, runs well, handles well, goes down the road straight as an arrow. There's no surprises, no uh, perforation issues whatsoever, which you'll see in our undercarriage uh, presentation. Uh, the interior is absolutely like new. Uh, it's just a great car. I really liked it a lot. I hated to bring it back. It's one of those cars that I really enjoyed using for a few days. But it is available here at Hankster, so come down and drive it or buy it for the video. Okay, this is the interior of our little uh, Yanko style 383 stroker uh, Chevy Nova. The only blue one we have. We have, I think, three black ones, a gray one, and now we got a blue one. Uh, headliner, just this night tight as you'd hope to find. Uh, it has a gorgeous uh, set of seats in this thing. Uh, the uh, upholstery is real high end on it. It's, it's nicely pleated. Uh, nice rolls in it also. YSC designation on the headrest just the way it would have been for a real Yanko car back in that era. Late 60s, early 70s. The uh, panels in the back are just as fresh and nice as you'd ever hope to find. The side panels uh, there's no deterioration whatsoever or fade or anything from sunlight. Again, the ha hat shelf, rack, whatever you want to call it, in the back is just as new as you'd ever hope to find. Back seat and front seat match perfectly in this vehicle. They, they just really, really well upholstered. The, uh, again, the dash is uh, undisrupted. There's no cracks or warps or anything whatsoever in it. The sun visors are as new condition, whether they're new or replacements or not, I can't tell. There's no stitching coming loose. It's a, a great uh, combination of uh, headliner and, and sun visors. The uh, mirror uh, is not a day-night mirror. It's just a conventional mirror. We're dealing with a basic car here. And uh, no milkiness whatsoever. Just as nice and clear glass as you'd have to find. Seat belts in the back and seat belts in the front. So you got a full complement of seat belts in this guy, back and front. Panels in the uh, front, your door panels, just as they were in the back, just as clean and straight as you'd ever hope to find. There's no marks or deterioration or fade whatsoever on it. Uh, new door actuators both sides and new window cranks, all four of them, front and back. Uh, armrests are the molded style armrests in the front. There are none in the back. Again, this is more of a basic car. No cracks in the steering wheel at all. Absolutely none. Uh, padded section through the center, just as sweet as you'd hope to find. Um, lens in the uh, speedometer section, just as nice and clear as you'd hope to find. Gas gauge on this end. Um, nothing on this end. It does have a set of auxiliary gauges on it. It does have uh, water temperature and it also has oil pressure and a tachometer and all three of them function. Um, geez, again the seat padding is just as nice as you'd hope to find in, in any vehicle. All the rubbers on this car have been replaced. They're all nice and resilient. Uh, uh, nice door rubbers and trunk. Uh, it, it's just a, a car that's been completely gone through. 
The uh, door jams in the front are just as nice and clean as you'd ever hope to find. Uh, it is missing a radio. I'm going to put a, but no one's hacked the dashboard of this thing up. So uh, we are going to get a standard radio and put it in here. It's be a standard GM AM radio probably. Whether it works or not, I have no idea. We're just going to put one in there. And anyone that chooses to put a sound system in this vehicle then can put it in the glove compartment where, where most people do. You'll put a CD changer in there and then uh, probably a couple of associated uh, speakers in the kick panels or the hat shelf, whatever you determine. Automatic on the column. Um, geez, this car is just a loop style carpeting in it, nice and fresh looking. Uh, GM original equipment style floor mats in this guy too. Got original GM floor mats in it. This is a nice a uh, Nova as you could ever hope to find. The interior uh, mimics the outside of this. It's a great color combination. It uh, has a lot of look to it just because of the uh, the, the color and the, the the scheme, the entire scheme, the wheel combination, uh, the lack of trim on the outside, the lack of chrome gives it that racer look. Smaller tires in the front, huge tires in the back. Uh, 383 stroker. This thing's just a lot of fun to drive. I mean, it's an absolute blast. Nice clean trash tray in it. Uh, I can't find anything in this vehicle so far that uh, that would be a negative. It's fantastic PC equipment. I certainly liked it. It's here at Hangsters in Daytona Beach. <coughs> okay, we are in our 383 stroker Nova. Uh, let's see what we got here. We have a fuel gauge that is functioning. Uh, it's a little over a quarter of a tank. Uh, left turn signal beating itself to death over here. And the right turn signal on this side working as it should also. And I don't think there's a horn on this guy. I don't remember when I drove it. I don't think we had a horn. I think we had to fix the horn. And uh, there was something else we had to fix too. Speedometer. Speedometer's not working. I know that's not. Uh, wipers. Wipers just beating themselves to death out there. And we have some auxiliary gauge here. We have tachometer that's working as it should. And we have an oil pressure gauge. The water temp gauge just starting to come up. We just warmed this guy up and just fired it up. Uh, everything on this car works that I know. I drove it for a few days, so I know the horn didn't work and I know the, the speedometer didn't work in it. But other than that, this thing mechanically is an absolute diamond. Let's go for a ride. Try to let go of this a little bit. I'm gonna. I don't know if I'll be able to put the brakes on. We got a guy in a Ford Muskrat right behind me, right on my bumper. No hands. Down the road. Still no hands. We'll do the brakes down the other end because this guy's apparently.
Okay, we are underneath our, the only one we got in blue, Nova. Uh, Yanko style car with a 383 stroker in it. This thing really gets the job done. It has uh, new tie rod ends, both inner and outer, both sides. A uh, new uh, pitman arm, new idler arm, a uh, new steering link, new shocks, new rotors, new calipers, new associated hardware. The engine in this car, it, it, looking at it from down uh, underneath here, is absolutely fresh. The nuts and bolts and everything aren't even uh, discolored on it yet. The paint is absolutely like the day it was uh, put in the car. The anodized uh, a finish on the uh, flywheel for the torque converter, which is also smaller converters, probably a 2500 stall uh, to go with the cam that's in this thing. It is a absolute fantastic uh, drive line that's in this car. Again, you can see no oil leaks whatsoever. Uh, the headers are a long tube design. Uh, I, again, it's just a guess on my part. Engine 5 8 uh, uh, diameter, 3 inch collector going into a 2 and an eighth, I'm going to call them. Uh, primary pipe subframes in the front, absolutely undisrupted. Uh, there's not a single mark on them anywhere, absolutely nowhere. There's not even a jack mark on them. The uh, fender wells in the front where they come down, a lot of times people try to jack them up there or on the base of the fender. There's no marks whatsoever on this one. All the pinch welds still evident on the uh, rocker panels where the floorboards go over and transition onto the rocker panels also. The structural pieces on the rocker, on the uh, floor pans themselves, uh, still intact. They still have the factory uh, splatter sound deadener undercoating that was installed by GM back in that era. Turbo tranny, again, no leaks whatsoever, even on the tail shaft or the speedometer drive. Everything is as it should be. The um, let's see, uh, new linkage on the uh, uh, transmission. There's no cover over the uh, torque converter and flywheel on this vehicle. And almost every one we have uh, down here in Florida or any of the southern states, uh, they omit this simply to go ahead and allow some uh, uh, heat to be dissipated through the air that's going by instead of just having everything covered up and enclosed. It causes the uh, transmission fluid to run a heck of a lot hotter than it really needs to be running. And this kind of eliminates a lot of that problem. Original cooling lines, metal ones still intact and undisrupted. It has a gear reduction, yeah, brand new gear reduction starter on it. The, um, huh, this is a nice, uh, nice piece of equipment here. Uh, G Force engine mount for the uh, transmission in the rear, certainly much uh, more substantial than the one that came from General Motors. Does have a set of subframe connectors. The front to the back subframes are connected, so it gives it the uh, structural rigidity of a uh, full perimeter frame. Pretty close at this point, anyway. And again, all the pinch welds. You can see every little pinch weld still nice and evident where the floor pans transition onto the rocker panels, which are still all original. It's really a, a nice car under here. This thing has absolutely no rust whatsoever. Let's see. Uh, New U joint in the uh, drive shaft in the front, and same thing in the rear. Flowmaster mufflers, uh, two and an eighth. I'm going to call them uh, two and an eighth out. Also, two and an eighth in, two and an eighth out. Uh, mono leaf rear suspension, new shocks in the rear. High joint adjustable traction bars on this guy. It, it really, uh, uh, it's a nice working car. I drove this thing for a few days, so I know what it can do. It's a strong 383 car, very strong. Original brake lines uh, from the factory yet with the winding around them still intact. Uh, fuel line on this side the same way. It's still the original fuel line, didn't need to be replaced. They did put some type of a structural piece across from where the shocks go. That's uh, a little stouter than what came from the factory. Someone has added a piece of uh, uh, engineering on top there that uh, improved on what General Motors had. Uh, it is a posi rear end in it too, a 10 bolt, but it's a posi and it's a heavy duty rear end in it. Original gas tank, original straps and everything still on it. One little tiny dinghy here that you probably will never even see in the picture, but I'm pointing it out because it is there. The uh, tie-in piece that goes across the, the um, subframes which transition up over the uh, uh, differential 
Um, that piece that ties them together in the back is just as fresh and clean as you'd ever want to find. Floor pans in the back of the trunk, the same as they are in the rest of this vehicle. And you can see they're just as absolute new as you'd ever want to find. Uh, it's got a fresh round of rubber, uh, uh, drag radials in the front. It's got a huge set of tires in the back. Absolutely huge. Drop downs in the quarters are still original. There is no rust on this car. None. You can look anywhere you want. You will not find any rust or, or areas that have been uh, addressed, nor need to be. Uh, it's a really a great, uh, great vehicle, great running vehicle, uh, fantastic undercarriage. <coughs> it's hard to look up in the air and talk at the same time. But um, fantastic undercarriage in this vehicle. Phenomenal driveline in it. That 383 absolutely hooks. A fantastic car. It's available here at Hanksers. Um, there's a lot of still photos that Devin's going to take of this undercarriage also, so you'll be able to define every little area that I pointed out to to see exactly what we're looking at under here when we're doing these videos. So take a look at them. They're on the website with... Uh, there's about 90 of them on there he takes, so I'm sure you'll be able to find any little tiny... Uh, irregularity in case I do happen to miss something but uh, take a look at them because we try our very best in every case to point out every little irregularity or deficiency on a vehicle that we find